हेलो एवरीवन दिस इज यश सक्सेना एंड टुडे आई विल टॉक अबाउट फैटी लिवर इन डेरी काउस फैटी लिवर डिजीज इज अ डिसऑर्डर ऑफ हाईली प्रोडक्टिव डेरी काउस रिजल्टिंग फ्रॉम एन एक्सेसिव नेगेटिव एनर्जी बैलेंस एट द ऑनसेट ऑफ लैक्टेशन मोबिलाइजेशन ऑफ लार्ज अमाउंट ऑफ बॉडी फैट रिजर्व इन रिस्पॉन्स टू इनसफिशियंट डाइटरी एनर्जी सप्लाई रिजल्ट इन ट्रांसफर ऑफ फैटी एसिड्स टू द लिवर फैटी लिवर इन डेरी काउस सिंड्रोम इज अ टाइप ऑफ मेटाबोलिक डिजीज caused by a dietary imbalance after birth is frequent in herds of dairy cows on industrial farms all over the world high yielding dairy cows that produce a large amount of milk especially those with an everyday milk supply of up to 30 liters or more are considerably more prone to develop fatty liver disease in dairy cows during the early nursing phase let me not tell you about nefas non esterified fatty acids hormone signals cause the mobilization of body fat storage which results in the outflow of non esterified fatty acids from fatty tissues when energy balance is poor because the liver keeps 15 to 20% of the nefas in the system flowing it gathers more over time as blood nefa levels rise during lactation when plasma levels are typically greater than 1000 equivalent per liter the fastest increase occurs if the cow is not fed the ratios can rise to dangerous levels the nefas that the liver receives could be oxidized or esterified the predominant esterification product is triglyceride which can be excreted as a component of very low density lipoprotein vldl or retained in liver cells ruminants progress at a much slower rate than other animals due to limited vldl synthesis as a result of increased heptic nefa uptake and esterification triglycerides accumulate when nefas are oxidized they produced atp via the tricarboxylic acid cycle or ketones by oxidation ketone synthesis is boosted when blood glucose levels are low because insulin prevents the fat transfer from the fat cells the fatty liver develops in dairy cows when blood glucose and insulin levels are very low according to a few researches done within 2 weeks of the delivery 48.85% of dairy cows were found to have moderate or acute fatty liver in dairy cow syndrome according to data collected from commercial farms throughout the year fatty liver disease affects 40 to 60% of high yielding dairy cows during 2 weeks of lactation furthermore the 2 weeks following pasturation could account up to 50% of illness on a cattle ranch which is consistent with the findings the high rate of murdering dairy cows during their first postpartum period is causing considerable concern in the dairy industry today to prevent your cow from this fatty liver you must know about the signs from which you can get to know about it those are decrease in milk production appetite suppression ketosis mastitis milk fever etc reproductive problems and elevated ketones at increased nefa concentrations the digestion of fat and fatty liver may be avoided if cows calved at appropriate body state a calf's overall health score of 2.5 to 3 would be optimal cows must be kept clean and dry at this point and kept at the same weight during the long drought it is best to avoid switching diets throughout this time Overweight cows can be given glucose injections as precautionary approach. Stress reduction is critical for fatty liver avoidance. It is best to prevent abrupt changes in the surroundings, modifications in diet, shelter, heat and herd mates and other factors for instance might reduce feed consumption and activate catecholamine mediated fat transformation. Without medical assistance, death rates can skyrocket to as high as 25%. Other than a long glucagon infusion, there is no cure for fatty liver. Cows with fatty liver are more prone to a number of metabolic and viral illness and as a result their milk production diminishes as a result they are frequently killed so i hope this information is helpful for you for more informative videos on cattle health and products stay connected with us on our channel swadeshi vip